Hello everyone and welcome to Moonlight Jewel. My name is Elisa and today we are going to make Kiari Pamyu Pamyu. She became iconic some years ago with her song Pam 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 and I really wanted to make her since quite some time. So let's get started! I'm using a Draculaura doll this time and remove her factory paint and hair first. Since I wanted to make her a wig this time, I can already start with a face-up. I'm giving her cute pink cheeks and some light lip blushing. Kiari's face is very sweet, so I wanted to give her some cute round eyes. Figuring out the eye shape of the eyes always takes me the most of the time when drawing a face up. The possibilities are endless and I keep erasing and drawing again for quite some time until I'm finally happy with the shape. Then I start layering and darkening the colors, drawing the iris, eyebrows, lashes. I finish up the face with highlights in her eyes, colors and powders, and gloss on her lips. Now it's time to make a wig. I really had trouble making it for some reason. Usually I like rerouting more, but I wanted to challenge myself by using yarn hair for the first time. And guess what? Her wig turned out horrible. So I decided to start again, and instead of giving her a wig with a pigtail style, I made a short hair wig and attached some magnets on the wig cap. Then I made separate ponytails with magnets too, so that I can just pin them magnetically onto her head. Now I just needed to glue the signal ribbons on them, and her wig is pretty much done and turned out really nicely. For her outfit I ironed some red stripes, made a fabric vinyl on some pink fabric and added the little sunglasses too. Then I added some pink lacing and sewed the bodice together. With some white ruffled sleeves, the upper part of the jumpsuit is done. Now I just need to iron some eyeballs onto the yellow fabric, sew the bloomer like pants and attach them to the top. Yay, her jumpsuit is pretty much done! I just need to add some of the details, like a little gem flower, feathers and a pom-pom. And it's done! Now to the main event, the shoes! Kiari wears pink Doc Martens in the video, so I wanted to create some flat shoes for her. Pretty tricky since Monster High dolls come with a high heel feet. 
Time for some shoe experiments. I've seen Walker Colors doll shoes tutorials and created a thin shoe sock made of papier mache first. After it was dry, I cut out the front part of the shoe with a tongue piece and added polymer clay to the front of the shoe and a kind of wet shield to the back of it. After baking, we have some weirdly looking wet shields. I painted the tongue parts pink and then I'm taking my shiny pink fabric and add a tongue piece, a front piece and back pieces to the shoe so that the whole shoe looks like it's made of shiny pink leather. I'm adding some black fake eyelets made from vinyl and try out the lacing. Now we just need to sculpt some salts out of Panama clay, bake them again for about 15 minutes and we have some cute little Doc Martens, yay! I was really experimental with the shoes, but if I get better at making them, would you guys be interested in a specific shoe tutorial? Let me know in the comments below. With some eyeball drawings on her white painted hands, Kiari is about to be done. I glued on a wig and curled her pigtails already, put her into a jumpsuit, added the little white ruffles she wears with her shoes and put on her shoes. Finished! How do you like my Kiari Pamyu Pamyu doll? Does she look like the real Kiari? I'm quite happy how her shoes turned out. What do you like most? I hope you liked this video and if you did, I would be very happy if you'd subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell button to be part of my customizing journey. Oh, and by the way, if you head over to Instagram, you have the chance to win my Kiari doll because she's the prize of my current giveaway. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful creative day. Bye!